What is up everyone? Today we've got a nice little video covering two items that I've recently bought off eBay. We've got a big box and a small box. So we're going to start with the big box because it is the most common of the two items. And the reason why I bought the big box is because I won the small box. So, um, what was it the other way around? No, it must have been that way around because that is the more rare item, so I would have been bidding on that one as opposed to this one, I believe. Um, but anyway, these are some Nintendo 64 cases. So this first case is extremely common, and as I said, I wouldn't have really been interested in it if I didn't have the second case. I've always looked at these and wanted to own one someday, but I've never really had the reason. But now that I have the other one, um, I wanted to get this one to sort of continue the video making. So here it is. This is the Nintendo 64 console carry case in all of its glory. So this very much reminds me of uh, sort of like a notebook case, an early kind of laptop case. It's got that classic design with the handle on top. It's got two little rings on the edges for a strap. Pretty uh, unfortunate that it doesn't have the strap unless it's inside, which it could well be. Um, so here we've got the Nintendo 64 logo, as you can see. It's actually, um, oh, what do you call that process? Is it embroidered into the fabric? I hope that's the right term. And then on the bottom we've got two um, feet which is sort of hard plastic so that you can put the case down. The case is um, substantial enough to be able to stand up on its own um, without anything in it, which is really cool. So getting a taller angle to take a look at it, there's a zipped pocket on the front, which is pretty cool, handy for accessories and stuff. Probably it feels as if the most handy thing that would be for is sort of paperwork. Um, so I guess that's just a bonus zip pocket on the front, sort of just because they could kind of thing. And then we have two main pockets. So the first one, let's open it up, is pretty... Aha, what's this? What is this? This could be the strap. Well, hey, that is indeed the strap, folks. That is very good news. I was kind of disappointed that it didn't have the strap, but it is inside, which is really nice, in a separate little wrapped up package here. So we'll put the strap on in a second to take the elastic bands off. That's great. Perfect. I was quite disappointed about that. Although it's just a standard sort of laptop bag strap, as I said, um, I'm glad it's I'm glad it's included. So inside here, the first pocket, we've got six clear compartments for game cartridges. We will load this up later, and we also have here six compartments for what look like memory cards. And this is intriguing because most N64 games, or at least lots of N64 games, I won't say most. Um, all the first party games allow you to save directly onto the cartridge. Uh, some games allow you to save onto a cartridge and onto the memory card, but even me, as a sort of die-hard Nintendo 64 fan, it would be very rare that I would need to take a memory card per game around with me. Uh, six memory cards is a lot for the N64, you know, just as a little bit of a, an idea. I personally own... Um, around five, six, maybe seven of the push memory cards with active save files on them. Um, or when I say active, I mean save files of finished games and whatnot. So, you know, that's with a pretty substantial library of games. So carrying, having six compartments for memory cards is pretty excessive, but pretty cool as well. Here we have an inside pocket behind the memory card compartments, which is on a piece of Velcro. So that's quite nice. That would be ideal for I don't know, cables or something, no idea what's actually meant to go in there. We also have another one here, which is like a long and thin one, as you guys can see. So they've really crammed the pockets in there. That's three additional pockets. And uh, yeah, that's it for the first compartment. Now let's take a look at the second compartment, which is of course, where the console and controller goes. And there it is, I see. So. The console will go there and the cabling and controller there, which is pretty damn cool. It's uh, a very nice bag with lots of space. We'll take a look at it again 
um, once we load it up with stuff because it'll be easier to see. But that is the Nintendo 64 carry case. Um, it's not made by Nintendo, but it's an official Nintendo product. It's licensed, but it's made by a third party, I believe. But it does have the N64 logo on it, which is really nice. Now, this is a common accessory. You can find these on eBay easily for anywhere between uh, 10 to... 10 to 15 pounds and I actually saw a brand new sealed one on there for 25 so if anyone's interested in these really really easy to get hold of but this isn't the original thing that sparked my interest off in making this video the original item is in this little box because this is very interesting and something that I haven't seen before and we will have a little overall conversation at the end about these cases but first let's unbox this and uh, I can show you guys what I got in here. So this is what I wanted to take a look at and I'm very, very interested to see what this is like. Here it is, folks. A little bag with a strap. Looks just like a camera case. As you can see, it's got a little plasticky toggly thing here to remove the strap. Um, wow, this is awesome. Little zipped pocket on the front. The same Nintendo 64 logo. But what is this, you may be asking? Well, here is the main compartment. There it is, opened up. Feeling nice on the inside. Really nice and sort of velvety. Really nice. And check this out, guys. Have a look at this. So this is what's super cool about this case. This is the complete um, solution to taking your little own personal N64 experience over to your friend's house. So let me demonstrate. Firstly, this was sold as a controller case. So you take your N64 controller because when, when kids would have N64s back in the day, um, it would probably be the case, the machine supported four players, but it would be rare that one person ever had four controllers. So if you're all meeting up for a multiplayer session, people would bring their own controllers, of course. So this bag is firstly an answer to that. There we go, controller slips in really nicely, fits perfectly. Secondly, with that handy zip pocket on the front, you can bring some of your saved games on memory cards if you want to do so. So we can pop those in there, like that and zip it up. But this is the coolest thing, and I think this is awesome, and this is why it's the complete portable N64 solution uh, for going over your friend's house or anywhere that has an existing console. You can take your favorite games that you want to play with your friends, and you can slot them into the two game compartments that are included in this controller case. At first, by looking at the pictures, I thought they were memory card compartments, but they are not. They are full-size game cartridge compartments. And if I take the controller out for just a moment, you guys will be able to see how well the game cartridges sit in there, in this case. So, if I do that, and I close it up, just make sure my cable is down in there nicely, close it up, that is my complete travel Nintendo 64, my own personal little collection to go over my friend's house, or, you know, cousin's house, or grandparent's house, or wherever the heck the N64 would happen to be. This will carry two uh, two memory cards, two game cartridges, and a controller. So this is the rarer of the two items. I'm not saying it's massively rare or anything. I managed to win it for 19 pounds, I believe. I don't see them pop up very often, and I think it's a bloody awesome piece of kit. So there's that. I think that's really cool. So let's pack up the big one and see what we can get in here, starting with the easy stuff. We, of course, have our games. And as I said, this will take six games which I thought would go in there horizontally, but no, it must be vertically like that. That's not a problem, they stay in there pretty well. So, six games. And of course, six memory cards. Hmm, bit of an unconvincing fit with the memory cards there, folks. They may indeed be for something else, who knows, but they look like memory card compartments, although I'm not entirely sure about that. It's not looking too great now really, is it? But there we have that. Of course, what I've done is I've brought some rumble packs, because they there didn't appear to be any rumble pack specific compartments. Didn't know if these would sit well over there, or go well behind here, or something like that. But I've brought a couple anyway those behind there. So that's that. 
Let's do that bit up. And then we have the part with the console and controllers. So I'm not 100% sure how uh, these are meant to go in. There's a strange little strap back here that I'm not 100% sure what it's for. And the console feels a bit loose. Although you could tighten it in like that, I suppose. But yeah, that is that is that. Two controllers and an N64. And of course you could get your cabling in, in there as well. Um, your AV cable would easily go in there. Two controllers. Of course, there's another strap here. That bit might be for the console, to tell you the truth, folks. But I'm not 100% sure. There's a lot of straps. But anyway, as you can see, that's pretty securely sitting in there. Let's close her up. Unfortunately, my cabling... Um, actually, let's see if I can find some spare cables. So I have found a spare AV lead. I haven't found a spare power brick. Um, both of my power bricks are wired up behind my TV for my uh, my two N64s, my PAL and my Japanese system. So it would be a bit of a hassle to try and get the power bricks out just to demo the bag. But of course the AV lead will slip straight down into one of these compartments really easily. Same goes for the power brick, or the power brick could quite easily stay in the back of the N64 and the power cable could just be wrapped around um, within that compartment, so you could you could get one a heck of a lot in this bag. Six games, six memory cards, all sorts of accessories, bits and bobs, all the cabling. It's very, very spacious, and of course, it doesn't weigh anything um, once it's loaded up. It really, really doesn't. So let's pop the strap on, and I'll see if I can model this bag. Well, guys, here I am. Excuse the work uniform, but. I am loaded up with my Nintendo 64 and all the bits and bobs, as well as my own personal little controller slash game transport bag, which is definitely really, really cool. So let's pop these bags down on the desk and have a little chat about them. So here they are in all of their glory, these two wonderful little Nintendo 64 bags. Definitely with some random eBay purchases. Will I ever see myself using these? You know, I'd love to be able to say that I could take my little controller bag with my controller and game cartridges and memory cards, take it over my friend's house and have a multiplayer session. I'd love to be able to say that, but looking at it realistically, I don't think that'll ever happen. It'll just be a handy little bag to have for some extra storage and a nice collector's piece, of course. As for the big one, I can see it coming in handy. Um, of course, maybe when Eli grows up a little bit and if he's interested in retro games and if he's interested in the N64, if we were ever to book out a holiday home or holiday cottage or a caravan or something, I could see me sticking this little case in the boot, in the boot of the car because it takes up no space and, um, you know, taking it and just in case it's rainy or whatever or our plans get cancelled or we find ourselves stuck at a bit of a boring loose end then I can whip this out and uh, we can have some some gaming time but um, yeah other than that I think it'll be mainly used for storage for my spare console my plan is to have only three N64 consoles in my ownership um, the two on my TV so the Japanese and the PAL and then one spare console one spare PAL console and I can keep that in here with some spare cables and some spare bits and bobs as well which I think will be a handy little storage place for my N64 stuff so that is my own views um, as, I, as I say I'd love to be able to say that I have a legit reason for carrying around my Nintendo goodies but that is just not the case although I may use this bag for something else and carry it around sometime just to see if anybody notices the logo and I get a reaction but I highly doubt it. So just before we finish off the video I'm going to end on a bit of a nostalgic note and something that I wanted to mention and that was in my mind uh, while I was sort of thinking about getting these cases and making this video. I want to mention that the really cool thing about these cases, especially this one, is the whole social aspect of the Nintendo 64. With a retrospective view on the whole console gaming thing uh, from generations gone by, it's now pretty much set in stone that the Nintendo 64 was pretty much the most social machine that has ever existed. Obviously not including online gaming, but in terms of real human beings sitting next to other real human beings on a sofa and playing a split screen, the N64 uh, has come out on top time and time again for being the most multiplayer friendly console. And I think the bag is a, is a pure sort of illustration and the availability of these bags is an illustration as to how 
popular the N64 was to carry around. Um, there are lots of these bags on eBay, considering how it's just a little accessory, you know, there really are. And um, you, you can get bags for pretty much all consoles. Even when I was younger and I remember when the PS2 came out and that generation came out with the GameCube and the Xbox, obviously, you know, there were, there were cases for all of those. I, I don't know if I ever saw an Xbox case, come to think of it, but there were PlayStation 2 cases. You could even get hard cases in this country in game, like uh, sort of a bit like briefcase flight cases that were designed to hold your GameCube and PlayStation 2 and things like that. So cases have been around for more than just this console. But this is a social... Um, platform as I've said time and time again and uh, what's intriguing is just how many people that must have been buying these to take their console around to their friend's house you know it's like you'd have a whole gang of friends they'd all own a PlayStation or something like that and then you'd have that one friend that would uh, have the N64 and it would come out every now and again and they'd bring it around their friend's house and plug it into their TV and everyone would have a big you know N64 Mario Kart session or something like that you know it's just um, it just gives you that social vibe. It's got that essence about it. And owning these bags is, is pretty cool for that reason. So this has been my video covering a couple of uh, cool Nintendo 64 accessories. I'm really pleased to own these. I think they're a nice design and I think they are going to come in handy. Not crazy handy and maybe my money would have been better spent on some games. But hey, I really enjoyed covering uh, these little items in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed these bags and uh, enjoyed looking at them. Bit of a strange video topic, I know. But of course, as always, I will see you next time with something new. And something that I did want to mention at the end of this video, if you guys are waiting for a vlog, then don't worry, I'm currently in the process of filming a vlog and there will be one coming out very soon. So head on into the video description, check out the vlog channel. And as always, I will see you all soon.